What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. So this past weekend, we did some footage and filming with my man, Sensei Seth, and he posted up a video. If you haven't gone and checked his videos out, go check him out on YouTube. Sensei Seth got some really cool videos out there and really cool martial arts techniques. But I ended up hitting him with a, a really cool kick. It's kind of a modified question mark kick with a slight delay. And I wanna sit here and talk to you guys a little bit, break it down. We've got some footage of it, but now I'm here to show you guys what it's all about. Let's get after it. What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Real quick, before we get into the video, Sweet Tea and I appreciate all your support. And if you want to continue to support the channel, check out my friends over at Zydax. The link will be down in the description. Zydax has a lifetime warranty on parts and labor. That means if your GPU with a manufacturing warranty of one year blows up, at month 13 and beyond, you are 100% covered. All Zydex systems are hand-built in Salt Lake City, Utah, with US-only tech support. What's the advantage of buying Zydex versus building your own? Most component failures happen when the system is first put together. Zydex runs extensive QC before we ship your system. This helps eliminate the need of going back to each manufacturer for each part to get it fixed or replaced. Zydex specializes in customization from custom LEDs, laser etching, painting, we have you covered. Zydex always strives to provide the best price on your system, even during times of high demand, which component prices skyrocketing, Zydex has you covered. So stop by Zydex.com and get you a sick PC. Those things are sweet. Let's get into the video. If you haven't seen that clip yet, Let me explain a little bit how that works. So you have the classic question mark kick, right? You can do it with the lead leg question mark. You can do it with the back leg. Majority of people use the back leg. All right, so you have the original question mark kick, correct? Where you loop the kick over, bring it around, roll the hip over, and it lands on the head. Now, during the clip when I fought Sensei Seth, I tried to throw a question mark kick. It didn't land, he blocked it. Of course, he blocked this one too, but What's cool about it is that he didn't realize what I did. He just felt my foot hit at a weird moment. He saw me bring my leg up in position and there was like a delay and then he felt something hit his hand. I hit him right in the arm. But most of the time I hit people on, on, either on top of the head, uh, collarbone or neck area. And what this is cool is that it is a delay to the kick. And that's what makes the question mark kick so crazy. Because it looks like a front kick, you're looping the leg around, and there's a, it's a, it takes such a long time to get to its target, people don't realize when to block it, or they try to block it, bring their hand down, and then it lands. So what, did, what I did was, I picked my leg up, I rolled my hip over first, but I grabbed my ankle, like so. Now when I grab my ankle, I put tension on it. So I grab, some people grab the inside, I like to grab the outside, and I'm kind of pushing into my hand. So it's locked and ready to go, ready to fire, okay? The pin is pulled back, you're just waiting on the pull to trigger. I don't know if you should put that in there. So what I do is I pick my leg up, I grab my ankle. Now if you notice, the flexibility's gotta be there for this to work, all right? Especially when you hit somebody on top of the head. You may go to the leg, but, or straight in, it'd be pretty cool. You gotta have some flexibility in that hamstring and a hip. I like to throw head. So the guy sees my leg coming, right? I pick it up in position. As I roll my leg over, they expect the kick, but I delay it by grabbing it. And as soon as they, they realize that kick's not landing, they drop their hands. That's when I let go and fire that kick. So it looks something like this. Boom. Just like so. Let me show you again. Pop. Right? It's crazy because you don't think you would get a lot of power with it, but, but when you have that tension, in your hand and you let go, it fires out, man. It's really, really fast, really cool kick. Play with that, all right? Don't, like I said, I don't know the name of it, so come up with a name or find out what, what the kick is called. I have no idea, but I use it and I find it very, very useful in sparring, especially if you wanna be tricky and just try and throw that timing off with that kick a little bit, all right? 
Thank you guys for joining me with this Tending Tuesday. Love you guys. Hit that subscribe button. I'm waiting for you. We want you a part of the, the, the Wonder Boy and Sweet Tea fam. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Peace. I want you guys to name it for me. Do it this way. Okay. So. <laughs> you should put that in there. You, put, you should put that in there.